What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Today we're gonna to be covering ticker symbol GME. We'll be covering on the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame in anticipation for tomorrow's trading day, April 21st, Wednesday. So overall for GameStop, we did trade negative for the day and it was, wasn't the best day, but the market also had a broader effect on us. So let's go ahead and hop over here into Weeble. But speaking of which, if you guys can do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications and all that kind of fun stuff. I do have my Weeble referral link below, which does get you two free stocks valued anywhere between $8 and $1,600. One of those stocks comes free when your account is approved and the other comes when you deposit a hundred dollars on the platform also just want to mention um i know that doge is like a thing right now and they just actually publicly opened doge positions within weeble which is awesome um because i know it's a little difficult to find platforms to trade doge on i think voyager is the only other one but just aside from that yeah hopping in here to the technical analysis Really, we had a nice pre-market. We were trading at 167.90. Actually, was our high of the our high of the day was in the pre-market, and we did have our low of 153.36. The huge thing is we didn't touch 150, and that's the thing that I really wanted to see. Was we had a negative day. We had a lot of short interest accrue on GameStop today, and. I was looking, I was worried that we were going to retest 150 really quickly after we broke through 158.31 because 150 is that next really psychological support that we have. But the huge thing that I want to point out here is how volatile our moves were here when we had this really wave introduced into the stock. And then pretty much for the most part of the day, we had this really, really nice consolidation for the middle part of the day and then we had a nice rally into the close we did close above our support at 158.31 so we did close at 158.53 which is definitely nice but really when we hop out here to the five day chart we gave up a lot today but the huge thing was yesterday we were actually pretty much performing with the market and GameStop is performing with the market now. It's not this meme stock where it's performing against the market. Really, if you look at the past two days, it is very indicative of an actual if if we look at like the spy, let's say, or QQQ. QQQ had a sell off on Friday, had a sell off on Monday, and then had a sell off today. And if we take a look at GameStop, it's pretty similar. And then if we take a look at the SPY, it's pretty similar. So GameStop is actually trading like a normal stock and following the market, which is actually a good thing and what we wanted to do. And I know a lot of us were worried about like a negative beta and all that kind of stuff and it going against the stock market, but we really wanted to go with the stock market and kind of be this normal stock and not get labeled as a meme stock. So the more things we can do to kind of be normal, the better kind of thing. The huge thing that I want to highlight here is the MACD and how over it extended it is today on the move that we had downwards. And then we had this nice period of consolidation here, and then we did sell off a little bit and then pop back up, which is good. But the huge thing that I'm looking for GameStop is for us to get back above this VWAP because if we're trading below the VWAP, anyone who bought a share today is not making money. If we're above the VWAP, we made money off of buying a share of GameStop today. Since we're below it, you didn't make money on a share of GameStop. You actually probably lost money on it. So that's the huge thing. The other thing to highlight here is the 120-day and 30-day moving average. We are trading below the 120-day moving average the whole entire day. The 30-day did get looped in here a little bit, and we were trading above it for a little bit. But take it with a grain of salt, really. The huge thing is... The RSI we're sitting at 58.18 here in the after hours. And then if we take a look at the MACD headed into close, we were actually in very bullish territory. And then in the after hours, we actually essentially reverted ourselves and put us back in bearish territory. So I'm going to be looking forward the pre-market tomorrow to see how we actually do. But the huge thing is here on the monthly time frame is to take a look at this and see where we've been and where we really are. And we're headed back in the right direction. We may we had a dip here, 
but we made a nice step up and I'm looking for us to make the next step up in the 172. If we can get back within that 172, the 198 channel it is a very comfortable trading channel that we were within for such a long period of time. And that's really what I'm looking for within the stock. When we take a look here, the RSI is at 47. And then if we take a look at the MACD, we also are in, also are in bearish territory. If we do also take into account the 120 day and 30 day moving averages, we are also in bearish territory. I mean, with the 120 day moving average, we're trading above it, which is good, but the 30 day moving average is definitely above what we're trading at, and that's not a good thing. So, from micro perspective from the past we're trading definitely in bearish territory but from a macro perspective we're trading in bullish territory according to the 120 day but really looking at all these everything points to a very bearish day tomorrow for me honestly i know it's not the popular thing to say but i think we're definitely going to have a very bearish day tomorrow because the market like i would love to be wrong and i would be happy to be wrong but the market overall really has gotten beaten down the past two days and i think we're in for a third day beating because we've been running for so long but the next thing i really want to highlight here is actually taking a look at the short interest for gamestop which went up 2.78 percent which is actually pretty significant that's a lot of short interest and our current short interest or free float is sitting at 28.44%, which is a lot. That is a heavily shorted stock. Anything above 20% is considered heavily, heavily shorted. And we're borderline pushing 30. So we're getting to that extremely heavily shorted stock territory. Like that's it's the amount of shorting that is going on with the stock is insane, guys. Like is insane. There was 710,000 roughly borrowed shares. This doesn't include naked shorts. This doesn't include ETFs or any of that kind of stuff. So 291 of that, 291,000 of them roughly were returned. There's about an outstanding balance of 418,000. Our current utilization sitting at 55.27%, which is pretty, which is a lot. And then our cost of bar is sitting at 1.36, which actually has gone up over the past seven days. The other huge thing I want to point out is the shares on loan. The shares on loan is sitting at 15.06 million, and our current short interest is at 13.1 million. Now, if we hop back over here in the Weevil really quickly, our current free float is 55.95 million, which means we can only trade publicly 55.95 million shares. So. 15 million of those 55.95 million shares are on loan for short positions. And then we also have 13.1 right now currently sitting in short positions that haven't been covered. So our current short interest is 13.1 plus the 15.06. So between that, we have roughly almost half of our float is looking in some form of short territory. Now, if we take half of that, it's currently sitting on the stock as a short interest and then we have another half of it looking to be put into some form of short interest so the huge thing is shares on this shares on loan kind of thing they're, they've got to eventually use them because they're currently paying 1.36 percent per day to charge or what not not per day my bad annually 1.36 percent annually to hold that short but the hold those short shares kind of thing so that's a big deal which is actually up like our and the other thing is our short interest is actually up from march 31st it was 10.7 million and now it's 13.1 million 13.1 million so our short interest is going up guys and that's the huge thing the other thing everyone keeps asking me when do you think we're going to squeeze and i'll i'll tell you i think when we squeeze is when we have enough buying pressure to come in and we have the shorts in a heavily shorted position with our utilization very high, I think that will be hopefully the right mixture to get a squeeze. But the huge thing is today we traded 4.5 million shares. Like that is not a lot of shares. We need a lot of volume to step in in order to drive up the price. With 10 million shares, we can't do it. What we need is we need days like back here of 38, 70, if we had 71 million with our current short interest and all that kind of stuff, 
if we had this candle of 71 million with this short interest and a heavy buying pressure, I think we would have a recipe for a squeeze. Now, do I see us squeezing this week? No. Do I see us squeezing next week? Probably not. Do I see us squeezing in a couple of months? Most likely kind of thing. Like, I would prefer to be wrong. I would prefer the squeeze to happen quicker than later. But unfortunately, with the current situation, we don't have any volume. So we can't really, really make the shorts feel the pain kind of thing and drive up that price of the stock. Because if we drive up the price of the stock each day, that short rate borrow fee gets higher. So the shorts are eventually going to go, okay, all right, well, we're just going to give back our short position and then they eventually have to cover because the outstanding short rate borrow fee is a lot of money. And keep in mind that short rate borrow fee goes up the more green days we have and the more utilization is used kind of thing because it gets harder and it gets more risky for shorts to short the stock kind of thing. So just keep that in mind. But that's what I got for you guys today. I apologize about the technical difficulties and thank you guys for so much for pointing it out. If you guys can just do me a huge favor and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you ring that bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.